Thank you, Madam Chair, dear Commissioner, dear colleagues. Last weekend, I went to a small village in the north of Hungary, and the situation that I found there was devastating. On the one side, in one part of the village, there were poor, fam uh, poor families living, 12 people in small houses with only 70 square meters of living space. There was no running water, no paved roads. Three kilometers further away, there was a very different picture. There was a renovated city center a brand new water fountain that was unfortunately already closed down. This renovated city center was funded by the European Union with 160,000 euros. This is an example of how cohesion policy can and is going wrong, because these kind of projects have a detrimental effect on social cohesion in our societies. This situation is even more unacceptable while we are knowing that, first of all, cohesion policy can be such a powerful tool to really change the societies and to make the European Union more social, more sustainable and more democratic. And secondly, because we know, and many people in this room have worked for the last years to develop tools in order to make cohesion policy work like this, be it the partnership principle, be it clear investment criteria, be it the code of conduct or capacity building measures on the local level. All these things have been developed in the regional committee and in this parliament. I say to you colleagues today, let's not wait until the next funding period, until the next regulation will be negotiated. We have to start fighting now to make cohesion policy in the European Union an investment tool that creates sustainable, ecological, social and democratic European Union. Thank you very much.